Okay, looking at this is the remnant of a star that has died. The sun will have a fate. The Big Bang Theory stands as the pinnacle of cosmic theory, explaining our origins. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered something that challenges it entirely. Neil deGrasse Tyson mentioned that the telescope observed black holes from a prior universe that gave rise to our own. This prompts a potential reevaluation of our cosmic understanding. The discoveries made by JWST, which seemed puzzling to astronomers, raised questions about whether they were mistaken about the Big Bang or if there were errors in measurements. Let's delve into these findings and explore the implications. This is a real reveal of the mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space, and beyond, consider subscribing. Over the last century, tremendous progress in scientific knowledge has brought about a profound shift in our understanding of the cosmos. Among the notable revelations during this period is the development of the hot Big Bang Theory. This intriguing theory proposes that the current state of the universe originated from a considerably hotter, denser, and more uniform state. Initially presented as a viable alternative to additional explanations for the expanding universe, the Big Bang Theory gained substantial support in the 1960s with the identification of the primeval fireball, now acknowledged as the cosmic microwave background. For more than five decades, the Big Bang Theory has served as the primary explanation for our cosmic origins, unfolding with a preceding inflationary period that set the stage for the extraordinary events shaping the universe today. However, the journey of both cosmic inflation and the Big Bang has faced persistent challenges from astronomers and astrophysicists over the years. The most recent challenge arises from findings by the James Webb Space Telescope operational for less than two years, but already introducing a new layer of complexity to the cosmic narrative. The JWST's unexpected detection of early galaxies more massive than previously anticipated has caused a stir in the scientific community, potentially leading to a paradigm shift in our comprehension of the universe. This revelation suggests a need to reassess our existing understanding of the cosmic framework. While groundbreaking, this discovery doesn't seamlessly align with established astronomical models that have guided our understanding thus far. In its brief operational span, the James Webb Space Telescope has become an invaluable asset, offering unprecedented glimpses into the universe during its formative years, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The telescope's advanced capabilities and observational prowess have provided scientists with a wealth of data, prompting a reevaluation of long standing assumptions about the early stages of our universe. The sudden revelation of these massive early galaxies has, in essence, disrupted our established understanding of the cosmos. Scientists are now grappling with the realization that the JWST's findings may require a rewriting of the textbooks that have shaped our understanding of the universe's beginnings. This unexpected turn of events underscores the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific inquiry, where each discovery has the potential to reshape our understanding of the cosmos. The universe-altering discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope mark a significant chapter in the ongoing narrative of our exploration of the universe. Fresh insights from the JWST provide a captivating glimpse into the universe. Scientists have unearthed six colossal galaxies that surprisingly appeared in the early history of the universe, remarkably just 500 to 700 million years after the universe's inception. Galaxies with a maturity comparable to our 13-billion-year-old Milky Way came into existence. These gigantic galaxies boast an astronomical number of stars, surpassing several billion times the mass of our Sun. In comparison, our Milky Way, with a star mass equivalent to about 60 billion suns, is dwarfed by these newcomers, with one potentially reaching an astonishing 100 billion times the mass of our sun. Dr. Eric Nelson, an astrophysicist from the University of Colorado Boulder and a co-author of the study, 
expressed astonishment at the rapid emergence of these colossal entities. She highlighted the perplexity of such massive structures forming swiftly in the early universe, challenging our conventional understanding of galaxy evolution. The prevailing theory had suggested gradual evolution of galaxies, with small clusters of stars, and thus slowly accumulating over vast time spans, eventually giving rise to the galaxies we observe today. However, these newfound colossal entities defy this notion, raising profound questions about accepted theories. Dr. Evelyn Levesque, another researcher, pondered how these dense galaxies seemingly reached maturity at such an accelerated pace. This discovery disrupts established scientific beliefs, challenging the conventional notion that massive galaxies required much more time to develop. Formerly dubbed Universe Breakers, these extraordinary entities live up to their name by appending and challenging our comprehension of the universe's evolution. The implications of these discoveries are substantial, prompting scientists to reconsider existing theories about galaxy formation and evolution. Scientists now find themselves in an era where they must navigate the unexpected and reassess their fundamental understanding of the early universe. Astrophysicist Emma Chapman, not involved in the recent study, underscores the potential seismic shift in our understanding of the early universe if these findings withstand scrutiny. The existence of colossal galaxies near the Big Bang challenges the previously held belief of a dark cosmic era, suggesting that star formation may have commenced much earlier than previously presumed. However, amid this excitement, researchers caution against hastily rewriting cosmological records. There remains the possibility that some of these colossal entities might be obscured by supermassive black holes. What appears as starlight in images captured by telescopes like the JWST could be gas, and thus being drawn into these gravitational behemoths. Another astronomer, not part of the study, highlights the mystery surrounding the formation and growth of black holes during the early cosmic period. She suggests that the data doesn't necessarily contradict our understanding of the universe, but rather demands a deeper understanding of the unique physics governing how black holes form and grow during that time. To validate these groundbreaking discoveries, researchers may employ spectroscopy, a method that analyzes the light spectrum of these galaxies. Spectroscopy could reveal more about their age and composition. Galaxies from the early universe exhibit a significant redshift in their light spectra. The concept of redshift is intriguing. The higher the redshift value, the more the light has stretched, suggesting greater distance and age for the observed galaxy. Scientists aim to use spectroscopy to ascertain if these potential galaxies, labeled as high redshift candidates, are as ancient as they appear. Alternatively, they might discover that these entities are naturally redshifted galaxies from a more recent cosmic period, hinting at a different story of their formation and evolution. Spectroscopy is a powerful tool that allows astronomers to understand the chemical composition, temperature, and motion of celestial objects by analyzing the patterns within their emitted light. By applying spectroscopic methods to scrutinize these colossal galaxies, researchers hope to delve deeper into the cosmic past, unraveling the mysteries hidden within these distant celestial giants. Astronomer Michael Bowen from the University of Texas at Austin challenges our understanding of how mass is distributed in space, complicating the widely accepted Lambda-CDM cosmological model. This model suggests that regular and dark matter mixed in the early universe, leading to the formation of the first galaxies. Bowen's study compares how stars, the death of the Sun, the collision of the Milky Way galaxy with the Andromeda galaxy, and possibly the formation of the might support Bowen's study, acknowledging well-founded calculations. Bowen's results challenge conventional ideas about star formation during different cosmic periods. While not dismissing Lambda CDM entirely, Bowen's findings warrant a closer examination of existing models. Despite introducing uncertainty, Bowen emphasizes that presently no other theory matches the capabilities of Lambda CDM. 
Haley Williams from the University of Minnesota, using the James Webb Space Telescope, discovers an early galaxy 500 million years after the Big Bang with intense star formation. While intriguing, it has lower mass than galaxies studied by Bowen, prompting considerations for larger galaxies at similar redshift. Bowen, cautious about the early object's small size, suggests it might be a globular cluster, highlighting the need to carefully evaluate challenging celestial objects to address cosmological model issues. Suggestions for changes to Lambda CDM, particularly early dark energy models, aim to align with other observational data. Another explanation involves misattributing light from some galaxies to stars. Bowen suggests the light may come from disks around supermassive black holes. The James Webb Space Telescope is the biggest, most complex telescope that NASA has ever launched into space. With its abilities in analyzing celestial phenomena, scientists have observed a few galaxies in a small part of the sky, but caution is needed as these galaxies may not represent the entire universe. Joel Lejeune suggests conducting larger surveys to gain a more comprehensive understanding. Astronomers like Peter Bureau express uncertainty about the authenticity of these galaxies, pointing out that small nearby galaxies can be mistaken for distant large ones, causing confusion. The lack of spectroscopic measurements for these mysterious galaxies poses a challenge. Michael Bowen anticipates more information in a couple of years, aiming to unravel the universe's mysteries. Scientists propose intriguing explanations, such as a mysterious mechanism or massive black holes in the early universe. However, the origin of numerous black holes at that time remains uncertain. Nobel Prize winner Sir Roger Penrose presents an alternative theory challenging the traditional concept of a single Big Bang. He suggests multiple Big Bangs in the past and future, supporting his ideas with mathematics and observable phenomena like cosmic microwave background radiation. Penrose introduces the concept of Hawking points, indicating evaporating black holes, offering a unique perspective on the universe. His theory suggests that the universe underwent cycles of creation and collapse, deviating from the conventional Big Bang model and providing insight into the mysteries of the cosmos. Nobody knows what's inside a black hole, and I don't know any volunteers to find out. And even if there were a volunteer, they would likely undergo significant challenges. Penrose's cyclical model suggests that temperature rings in the cosmic microwave background result from gravitational waves of colliding black holes in a previous universe.